So Amazon recently came out with the fifth generation Echo Dot. And by far, this is Amazon's most popular uh, smart speaker. And that makes sense because it's compact, it's small, it's convenient. And you have any piece of information you want to know just at the command of your voice. So this one comes with improvements from the previous generation but that includes the hardware and the software. So in this video, I'm just going to be comparing the two of them just so you know what you may be getting yourself into if you do decide to upgrade. Now at a glance, both are similarly built. The fabric is the same, uh, the shape and even the Alexa light ring. Now because of some hardware changes, the newer generation is slightly heavier than the old one and they both have the same color set except with the newer generation you can choose between the deep sea blue uh, color now one of the most noticeable changes is the fifth generation only has a power outlet whereas uh, the previous generation has a power outlet and a slot for an aux port as it comes to the audio quality the newer fifth generation most likely is heavier because of a larger driver and a much better speaker and that's maybe why they also decided to get away with the aux cord because it's just more so betting on how good the sound quality on this they expect to be and also at the same time they won't have to allocate any hardware space uh, just for an aux cord. the new upgrade are the new built-in sensors as for one you have a heat sensor and also an accelerometer now these sensors allow you to switch sounds by tapping at the top and also tap at the top to stop an alarm clock. And even though the previous generation does have uh, the tap to snooze the alarm, it doesn't have any of the new built-in sensors, even though it has all of the other Alexa features. Now on the newer generation, having a heat sensor basically allows you to create routines. So for example, if you want your AC to turn on or off at a specific temperature, then you can set that into your routines and that will be using the heat sensor. Now, of course, they both have some similarities, but they do also share common differences. The question then migrates to how good is the newer generation as compared to the previous and how much better is the newer generation that you'd have to upgrade. Now, if you plan to be using the routines feature, then uh, of course it makes sense going for uh, the fifth generation. And if you're also looking to boost your Wi-Fi with the Eero Wi-Fi booster, then you can do that with the fifth generation. Like the features are really good, but for the most part, uh, the majority of people that get Alexa speakers are just getting them just to use them as a smart speaker. But if you're a first time purchaser and the first time you're gonna be buying an Echo device, then buying the fifth generation is the way to go because you not only get the same features, but even more all around the same price. So you get more features for the same that you'd pay for the previous generation. Now in my personal opinion, I do think uh, this one is better comparatively to the previous generation. On a scale, it's about a 6 out of 10 uh, better than uh, the fourth generation. But those are the pros and cons provided from my perspective. Uh, you can watch the rest of my catalog and let me know what you think. I'm Jadija. I'm out.